Hello everyone. I just got back from the Stamp and Scrap Expo in Orlando, Florida for the year 2023 about a couple of days ago and it was super awesome. I had a really great time and we had about 40 vendors so that was really cool and as usual I bought way too much stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got and let me get these out of here. I actually tried to separate these according to vendor to make it a little easier for you guys. So from Islet Outlet, I got some brads and I actually get a lot of their brads. I probably have most of them already, but I am going to be working on some farm themed cards to go with my Queen and Company shaker kits that I have. Um, they just released a farm kit. So I do have some of these brads already, but I'm running really low on the farm animal ones since I used them in a class that I taught a while back. So um, I got the horses and ponies, and then I got pigs and sheep. I got cows and goats. I got some tractors and some roosters and some chickens for those. And then I got some... They had these bins of shaker bits that I've never seen at Islet Outlet's booth before. So that was kind of different. Uh, these are conversation hearts and they'd be great for Valentine's cards. And then I got some like playing cards in the playing suits or whatever they're called. <laughs> and uh, then I also got some sushi rolls. How cute are those? I've never seen those before. But again, I've never even seen Islet Outlet offer shaker bits like that before. So I was pretty excited to get that. I got this washi tape. It's bee gnomes. So it's got like a bee theme since I have bee card making stuff. And I've made some cards like that. I got these butterflies, which I'm now questioning whether I already have. Because they seem kind of familiar. We'll see. I got the casino looking one here. I got a masculine one, which has like motorcycles, cars, things like that. I'm always on the lookout for masculine cards because, or stuff for masculine cards, because that's just hard to find sometimes, or it's just not stuff I always gravitate towards. Some chickens for my farm cards. Uh, I liked this rose tape. I've got a flower shaker kit, and one of the shapes is a rose, so I've been really liking roses lately for some reason. So here's another one. And then this one is, actually it's upside down, but it's like a outdoor camping one. And I actually have a shaker kit for outdoors that I haven't really done yet either, so I thought I might put those to use. These two washi tapes I actually got, I think it was Tesla Crafts when we did their make and take. It was one of the companies with the make and takes. When we took the make and take up to their table that they set up Thursday night, we got two free items out of their bin. So I got cats and I got sushi. I like the sushi theme. I seem to like food and drink themes in general. It's turning out to look like. All right, so the next bin I have here is the Creek, Creek Bank Creations. I got a bunch of stuff here. All right, so they had a buy three, get one free with um, stamps and dies, and you could mix and match. So let me pull out what I got here. So initially, I think, okay, yeah, so initially I just picked up like three and they said, you know, you need to go back and get another one. So this is the cookie stamp and die set. This is actually a whole set. And this actually counted towards the um, buy three, get one. So I got that because I got their paper, which is absolutely amazing. I ordered it online when it came out. So I wanted the stamp set to go with it. So I got that. I got this um, step up card, I think it's called, to make, you know, just some I'm I'm kind of into interactive cards right now, just something different. So it's something different than just a plain normal card. So I got that, and this is what it looks like on the back. 
and then I got the pinwheel die. We actually used this in a class, and I will do a video with the classes that I took as well. So I'll go in depth with that more, but I got that because we did the class. And then I got a coffee cup shaker die. So I have a coffee cup to go shaker card, but I don't have a little cup. So I thought that would be fun because again, I like the food and drink theme and I love coffee themed stuff, even though I'm not a coffee drinker. And actually I think this die here I got later, so it actually wasn't part of my buy three, get one. This is the one that I got for free. Since I wasn't planning on getting another one, I had to go try to find something, and I wish I would have decided to get that die. Not that the stamp set's bad. I mean, it's got some cute birthday celebration and type things on it, which is, you know, something you can always use. So that's the Stampin' dies, and then I got three paper pads. I bought so many 6x6 six six paper pads this time, it's ridiculous. This one I got um, not necessarily for the dog stuff on it, although I will use that. I have dog shaker stuff as well, but I really like the masculine colors. I love these balloons, so I got that mostly for masculine cards. This one I got for the farm stuff. I thought the tractors were cute for uh, that kit. And then this is the paper that goes with the um, class that I took, so... Um, I just love it. It's just bright and colorful. That's what I like. So I got a pack of brads just because I did not know off the top of my head if I had any brads left because I haven't used brads in a long time besides the eyelet outlet shaped ones. And for the pinwheels, um, that dies that I just showed you, you need a brad for the middle of it. So I got a bag of just plain white ones because I can color them with alcohol markers if I need different colors. But that way I at least have some in case I don't. These are a little shaker mix. It's called chocolate. I think this would look good in the coffee shaker or this would look good in the um, chocolate chip cookie theme that I have going as well. These are called gummy hearts. Again, for shaker cards, these are a little thick, so you have to just keep that in mind. But I just thought they were really pretty, so I got those. You could also use them as embellishments on the outside of a card or something. And then something I saw this year at the expo that I've never seen before and maybe I've just always missed it, but this is clear foam tape. Like, I think that's really awesome. Like, if you really don't want to see it at all, like, it's clear um, once you put it on. So, it's red initially, but it's what it's wound around, I guess. But as you can see, when I tilt it, 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 it does go clear. So, that's really neat. So, that's what I got from Creek Bank Creations. Let me put that stuff to the side here. And see what else we have. Um, okay, Scrappy Boy. The only thing I bought at Scrappy Boy was paper pads. My friend did get a bunch of stamp and die sets, um, but I just got paper pads, and these were all $7.99 each. But on Mega Make and Take Night on Thursday, he offered his normal 15% for the show and then an extra 10 So we got 25% off of everything we bought pretty much. So I got this fall set. I really love these little mushrooms. And I noticed he's really got really great paper pads. I have almost all of his paper pads. I got a bunch at the last expo, so I like them. I got this pirate one. Um, I have some pictures to scrapbook from the Pirate Museum in St. Augustine from my last trip that I thought I could use some of that with. I use the Mosaic Moments scrapbooking system most of the time, so 6x6 six six paper pads can actually be useful for that because you don't need a lot of paper. Um, this is a little house plant kind of paper. I like to do succulents and cactus and stuff too with a card making. I think they make great anything cards. They can be birthday, sympathy, get well, Mother's Day, you know, just lots of different things. So I got that because I thought that was cute. Um, the three-hour tour set, I really just like that. I mean, it's just pretty. I mean, you can just look at it and enough said. And then I have a baking um, shaker kit that I thought this would also go well with. So I got that. Um, let's see. This was from a table set up either Thursday or Friday night. The vendors um, come into the crop area. Not all of them, but some of them to set up. And I think this was Tesla Crafts. But we did a um, a project. Let me actually just get that real quick. So 
sorry about that. Um, we did a project. They actually did a little make and take in the evening, which is different than I've ever seen done. But basically, this is a die cut. We colored it in with alcohol markers after gluing it down. And then they used this um, Galaxy gloss over top of it. It gives it like an embossed feeling. And then we used um, a spray to, I don't know if you can see on camera, you can see the pink splatters that I did because I actually, it was brand new and I held it so close that I got the splatters. But usually you get a really light mist of just sparkle all the way across the card. And I know you can't see this on the camera because I can't, but it makes your whole panel sparkly. So that's what we made as a little make and take. And so I bought the Galaxy Glaze. And then there's these dauber tops. I think we we daubed the top of this butterfly with the sparkle, like a silver glitter or clear glitter. We daubed the top of it. And then, then there's the sprays that you spray. So for the daubers, I got the sparkle, which is like a clear sparkle. And I got a rose gold because I thought about doing this stuff with some valentine's cards so i also got the rose gold spritz and then i got silver and gold because silver and gold are good for christmas and i can see christmas being a time that i add extra sparkly glitter to my projects these are just like some clear glue dot type things that they gave for free they say two dollars but they threw them in our bags for free so that was that um again i'm pretty sure that was tesla crafts if somebody else is there and they're watching this video and I'm wrong, just feel free to correct me in the comments below. I try to remember where I get everything from, and that's why I like to film the video shortly after getting back. All right, so at My Favorite Things, I got this coffee sentiment stamp to go with my coffee stuff. And I think at this point after this expo, I'm pretty set with coffee stamp sets, you know, sayings and images, because I think I've got a good variety. I probably have every coffee saying there is now. This thing, I don't have an example for you, but they did a make and take with this and I didn't do it, but my friend, I think my friend did it or she watched them do it. Um, you basically cut these out with the die and these holes, they the sides come up and then you roll up a bill, like a $20 bill or something and you slide it through and you can put it on a card. They also had the little plastic things that the money would sit in. I didn't buy all that. Um, and then I got this where you can kind of make your own gift card amount thing so it just looked neat hopefully i use it at some point this i got at scrappy tails they were a new vendor for us this year they do a lot of the pop-up cards which i think are really pretty but they have a lot of paper piecing and i'm not all about that so um i think this was my very last purchase of the show the show floor was closing and i debated on it and was trying to decide real quick if I wanted to get it and I went ahead and got it. So I hope that I end up using it. So again, I like all the different shapes of coffee cups and stuff. It's just got a nice variety in there. So that's them. Petticoat Parlor. I got this one piece of paper for trains. Um, we're going back to Alaska again and we'll do a train ride. So I just kind of like this. I like the train station. You know, I just, I just liked it. So I got that. And I got a bunch of their die cuts. I always get a lot at their booth because by the time the expo rolls around again, I have more stuff to scrapbook in <clears throat> and uh, a use for things. So I got bingo. This I'm either going to use for my St. Kitts trip. We did bingo by the pool or I'll do this on the Alaska cruise because I know I will play bingo on the cruise. Um, then you'll see some Disney stuff and like this is Hollywood Studios, Royal Caribbean. That's for the cruise. Um, this is also for Hollywood Studios, character dining. So some of this is just from Disney when I went the last couple times over the year. That's going to be for the Alaska Cruise. Super Mario Brothers. Okay, so you'll see in this video here shortly, I am a huge Super Mario Brothers fan. That is my childhood come to life. I was so excited when the movie came out. I have not made it to California to go to Super Nintendo World yet, but we will be getting one in Orlando. But it's just taking a while, but I'm all about it. I love it. So I got these for when I do go. I've already got all my paper and stuff. I'm all ready to go. I just need to go. I got Mario and Yoshi's cart. I am a Yoshi fan. And I got some 
little die cut heads. I actually, there's another one that has Mario, Donkey Kong, and Yoshi, but I got it last year, so I didn't have that one. Victoria, that's for the Alaska trip. St. Kitts and Nevis, because that's where my latest trip was just at. I've been to Epcot for this and still have to scrapbook some of that. Epcot, and I actually went to Epcot uh, the day after the expo ended and went to the Flower and Garden Festival. So um, that's going to be fun to scrapbook. Those topiaries are awesome if you've never seen them. Alaska Cruise. And I ate at the Rainforest Cafe at Animal Kingdom a year ago, and I still haven't scrapbooked that. So that's there. And then if you spend, I think it's like $30, you get one of their 2023 die cuts. So I picked one that would go with the Flower and Garden theme. So that's all I got from Petticoat Parlor, I believe, which it's still quite a lot. I say all I got like it was nothing. Um, so here's my first Super Mario haul. Let me show you guys this. And again, some of you are going to think this is cool and some of you guys are going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe she bought that. But um, they had paper, which I thought was adorable. It's got the scenes. If you've ever played this game, you're going to recognize a lot of the stuff. If you haven't, just bear with me till I get past this part. And I got six stamp sets. I only knew of four, so I was surprised when I got there and there was two extras. But these actually look pretty close to the actual characters. I mean, they can't draw them exactly the same for copyright reasons, I'm sure. But these look pretty close. Like, I like that Build-A-Scene card. Because so I'm going to make some cards that I can send to people. A lot of people in my life like this as well. So, Princess Peach. Some of the other icons. The bad guys. And Mario Kart. And this card is empty. You can put somebody else's head in there or whatever. So I got those from the Sassy Club. And this was a new um, company to me. And I would have never known they carried these except for in the Expo Facebook group. They put a picture up of some of their stuff. And they had a Mario card there. And I was like, oh my god, they have Super Mario stuff. So on that same note, look at this. <laughs> so I went to Stamp Anything and I saw this paper and I was like, oh my God, that's the best Mario paper I've seen thus far. It's even better than the paper I just showed you. I just love it. So I was, you know, getting, you know, two of those and this farm paper to go with the farm kit I told you about earlier. But then the guy working there said, you know, if you like the Mario, have you seen our I want it all box? And I was like, no. Um, I was like, how much is it? And it was like $135, I think. And he said, you know, if you want the I want it all box, you'll get 15% off. And I'll even give you those three paper pads you're holding for free. So he, he really hooked me up. He was awesome. Let me show you this box. Again, if you're not into this, just bear with me. I'm going to go through it quickly so that I can spare those of you who aren't interested. <laughs> but this gives you an idea of what their I want it all box has. Because they have this for other things as well. So... Let's start first with the stamps and dies. Now, I will say nothing personal towards this company, but these characters are more whimsical and don't really look a lot like the characters, which, I again, I know they can't draw them exactly like it for copyright reasons probably, but these, these are more whimsical and kiddish-looking characters than I tend to gravitate towards, so I'm not super excited about the stamp sets, but luckily I have the other stamp sets. But these did come with um, the dies as well. And the thing is, the only way you can get these products is in the grab-and-go box, which is why I did it. There was enough other stuff that I was okay with it. Here's some more of the stamps, actually. But look at all the stuff you get. I mean, these I'll use for sure. Like, these two with the icons I will definitely use. And some of these sayings. So, it's not a total loss. But I, I'm not into the kiddish look as much. So, some of them I'll use more than others. This was in the box cards and envelopes they even give you some foam dots some adhesive some shaker bits so mario mushrooms yoshi eggs how cute is that and then some ribbon some mario ribbon like i was super excited about that and then a paper pad did come in there already so now i have three of these which i'm super happy about a stencil for the brick, which, you know, again, if you're a Mario fan, you, you understand why there's a brick stencil in there. And then this is a die set to make some slider cards. And then this is, a, I went back and got this die, is the mechanism to do the slider part. So I can make this, like, piranha plant come out of this pipe and stuff. It's just really cool. So I'm excited about it. 
And I promise, I, I think that's all the Super Mario stuff I got for those of you who aren't fans. You don't have to see it anymore. <laughs> but that is my grabbing go box. But, oh, and they have glue. I forgot the glue. So there's some glue in there. So there is a good value in that box for sure. A lot of good stuff. And then I have next vendor. Stamplistic was there, and I've actually never been to an expo with Stamplistic. I've ordered some of their stuff during some of the online events they did during COVID. All I got, though, was this pack. They actually sold this, I think, make-and-take night, maybe. Um, but this is $20, and it comes with, like, 20 sheets of Pop Dots. So it was a pretty good value. So I got that. They had another stamp I wanted, but they had a big version and a little version. And the little version was in a bundle with four, three or four other little ones. And I only really wanted the one, so I didn't get it. And the other one was too big, so I just didn't get it. But that's all I got from them. And then Tall Mouse. So Tall Mouse has that bin, which if you've been to an expo you're familiar with, that has like $5 dies in it. So let me show you what I got for those. I got these coffee cups. They're very intricate, too. And then I got this herringbone. I just kind of like that. That would be cute on the side of a card as, you know, just part of building the card. I liked this rose border, so I got that. A mountain, I really liked that. And this is actually a shaker. Like, this is your shaker right here. You just gotta cut this piece with foam, and you've got a shaker, and this is your background. So, this can be lemonade, it can be a cocktail, you know, whatever. So, I thought that was cute. Um, I did get a slimline die, which I... Um, I think it was 12 or $14. I don't remember. But look at this border. It's paw prints. It's a paw print border. It's a cat. And obviously you can use it for a dog too, the paw print border. I just love the paw print border, so I got that. And then I got some shaker bits. So I got popsicles because I got a popsicle-shaped card, shaker card from Queen & Company to do. These are little birthday cakes. I'm not sure if you can really tell. And you really got to look at them close to tell that they're birthday cakes. And I was running low on bees, so I got the bees. And then this is just little gingerbreads and stuff. I just think they're cute. I didn't really need them. I have a lot of Christmas shaker stuff, but you know I can't help myself. And then there was another booth. I'm trying to think of which one it was that came in um, Saturday night. I think they were the only vendor that came in Saturday night. Everybody else was packing up. They came out for a little bit just to sell some stuff. I want to say it was Creative Creations or KNC Creativity or something. I don't remember, but they were selling a lot of these um, Reminisce stickers for $2. So I got just a couple that would go with my previous trips, and I'm a theme park person, so I got that. Okay, there's still more people. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make this video as short as I can. There's a lot. Okay, so at Keep It Simple, the only thing I bought was these two cat and dog stickers. And I got 75% off these. There was not a sign on these for 75% off, but I got both of these for under $3. So I was really excited to get to the register. I thought I was getting 25% off. So, And then from Scrap That, I think this is the only thing I got from Scrap That. It's a really nice tropical paper pack. So um, again, for my St. Kitts and Nevis trip, this would be good. So I got that. I was really feel in those pattern papers and then i got some doodle bug and again some of you that go to the expo all the time you'll know which booth this is that sells the doodle bug i think it's knc and creativity or something like that but i'm not 100 percent sure so again if i'm wrong you can correct me in the comments but i got some doodle bug the new cat and dog line the new line is called um, maybe doggone cute or something and the cat is pretty kitty something it's the brand new line i already got some of that stuff on scrapbook.com but i went ahead and got a few of the extras that i never did order on scrapbook.com so i got some of those these are chickens for my farm cards cat cat chickens for the farm cards and cat and dog i love these enamel sprinkles whatever they call them and then i got two doodle bug basic pads these are just great for backgrounds for cards and we just need a pattern paper but not a pattern paper just you know a colored but these were like 7.99 each so that's typical that's pretty much retail and then i was been looking for the black foam 
roll because um, I usually get it from Craft Fancy, but they don't go to the Scrapbook Expo. My friend was shopping and she found this and I thought it was the one that I wanted, but it's slightly different. But for the price, it's, it's fine. I mean, it's still usable. It's just a little thinner than I, I wanted. So it's pretty thin actually, um, which some of you actually may like. So I believe it's the same consistencies. I think it's the same um, as the Stamplistic Foam Dots. I think it's the same company. But, um, let me show you if I can get it out of here. It's stuck to the paper. That's not good. I'll have to fix that later. But, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty thin. Like the black strip itself. It's pretty thin. So, you would almost have to layer two of these on top of each other in order to get a little bit of a popped up effect, I guess. So that's those, I'm getting close to being done. So Rubbernecker, I took three classes, and again, I'll have a video with that. But after doing the classes, I went and got the Twist and Pop kit. I got it in, I got it in red because the day I went down to get it, there were no whites left. But then when I checked the second day, there was one white left. So they might have restocked and then sold. So I can use red for Christmas. And um, this is actually the card, one of the cards that we made in one of the classes with this. So, And then there was a waterfall card that we made. So I got the waterfall pre-cuts. And these are from the paper cut, but Rubbernecker sells them. And... I like that these are already pre-cut and they're scored where they need to be. Um, granted, if you have a die, you can cut as many as you want for the rest of your life. But realistically, how many waterfall cards am I going to make? So there's like 25 in here. That's plenty. I mean, it really is. And then I got this one paper pad. Again, to go with my uh, outdoor camping kit. And again, I'm always just looking for some stuff I can put on masculine cards in hopes that I actually do some masculine cards. Um, there was this other company called Pear Blossom, which I don't remember if they were at the expo before or not. I can't remember, but they do the light up cards. And when I do my class video, I'll show you the light up grill from the make and take we did, which kind of got me excited about this. Now this kit is $69. So at first I was not going to buy it because that was very pricey, but it does come with a lot of stuff. See, it's got the white foam tape, which I actually already have one, but that's the thickness I wanted. But it's got, looks like at least two die sets, um, some some just different, maybe three die sets, some adhesive, some of the lights. So I was like, you know, I will go ahead and give it a go. So I spent the money on it. So I'm going to try to make these, but look at that, how cool that is. It just you know, light is up, lights up. And they have like five or six different kits. They did sell pretty quickly. Um, I wasn't really interested in a lot of them. I do like the birthday one because birthday cards is the most common card I send. And then I bought a few extra lights. I bought this stamp set to, so I can put the push on there so people know to push it. And then I bought some of the extra lights and the lights are a little pricey. These aren't priced and I don't remember how much they were, but I want to say this five pack was like Oh, maybe close to 20 bucks. One of these was almost 20 bucks and one was a little less, but they're a little pricey. So when you think of the amount that you're um, making, like how much money's actually going into the card, it's quite a bit, I think. But it's still a new technique to try. And that's what I'm going for is interactive cards, something new, something different. So that's where I was going with it. Now, Photo Play and Echo Park were both there, like usual, and this is the first year that I did not buy anything from Echo Park, not because I don't love them, but because I literally have everything new that they release, I already get it as soon as it comes out, so I'm trying not to buy a lot of duplicates because I don't end up using all the extra paper kits I buy. One is enough because there's always something else that will come out later that I'll be excited about, so I didn't buy anything from Echo Park, but I did buy from photo play just for because they had the four for 24 i did buy a few pieces of paper since i'm going on a cruise not that i don't have cruise stuff already but i like that i like this cotton candy 
I want to do some like sweets and treats kind of cards. But even if I don't use the cotton candy, I love this plaid. And I got this stripe because I really liked it. And those can go together nicely. So those are the papers. And then these are the four for 24. Um, I don't think I have any of these. There's some of these that I may have actually bought single sheets of the ones that I liked. It's possible. But I, again, I stuck to masculine this time. So I got an outdoor kit. So I'm pretty set on masculine papers and stuff. I just got to get some stinking cards made. This camping kit, which will again go with that one kit. This paper pack, I feel like I bought a few of these like random papers and like tools and stuff because I have some tool paper for Father's Day. So it's very possible that I may have a few of these sheets, but I don't have the whole kit. I didn't show you guys the stickers on the back of these. Let me show you these real quick. I'm really trying to start getting more selective with what I buy. I still bought way more stuff than I actually thought I was going to. I was going to try to do better and not go crazy, but I feel like I still spent way, way too much money. But that's what the expo is for. It's fun. So far, there's not anything that I'm upset that I bought. Like, my friend asked me, is there anything you regret buying? And so far, the answer is no. Okay, then I have Be Creative. Be Creative was selling these, a lot of the totally Tiffany totes. I got this one for $15. It's a big one. It holds three of those big 12 by 12 plastic paper holders. So I got that. And then they got me this year on the foiling. Last year I almost bought it and I didn't. And I said, you know, if they had some of those little shapes like they did in the make and take, which again, I'll show you in the next video, I would do it. My friend said, oh, well, they have shapes. You got to go look. So I was like, oh, no. This stamp set we used in the make and take, um, we didn't actually stamp, but this is the stamp set that they used. So they were selling a bunch of these at their table for only three bucks. I went ahead and got it kind of like that. And I like the little um, tulip that we used in the make and take. So I bought that for $3. Then I bought these shapes. So these are hearts because, again, I make a lot of Valentine's cards. Trees. You, I can use those for outdoors or Christmas. Birthday. Obvious reasons on that one. And the stars. I like the stars. We actually did a star in last year's make and take. Um, this year we did the tulip with a circle frame with the foil. So the foils were 6 for $30. And, again, they got me this time. So I got mostly Christmas colors. Like I got red, green, silver, and gold. And I got pink and teal. So what I did was I tried to look at what I was getting to figure out what I would need. Like green for the trees, obviously. That makes sense. And Christmas. Pink and red for the hearts. Obvious again. Birthday can be any colors. And then the stars, I think of yellow and gold with those. But they can also be any color. So I tried to just pick out colors I knew. So I did the Christmas, the pink for Valentine's. And I needed one more. So I got teal because it's my favorite color. That was my grand way of buying it. And I think last but not least is the crazy creations stuff that I got. So I actually buy from them all the time and I got to do um, some teaching of make and takes in their booth which was the first time I've ever done that and that was fun and um, you know they took care of us me and my friend both did it they took care of us um, it didn't really matter though because I mean the money that they paid us just went back into their booth so <laughs> I actually got two packs of these Olo markers for free because I worked for them basically um, if you're not familiar with Olo, they're one of the newer alcohol markers out on the market, and they are an ingenious design that should have been made a long time ago, where it's a double-ended marker. So this is two markers, two different colors, and the inside is just liquid, so you get two times the usable ink. They're not refillable, but when one color runs out, you just unscrew that one, and you can order another one. I think they're like $4 and change the refills that I've seen online, so, um, but I like that they're juicier, more vibrant. Um, just liquidy. Like I have a hard time refilling markers. I, it's so messy. I don't like it. I feel like my markers are never the same after they go through the initial cycle of ink. So those are the ones I got. Two of them I bought and two of them I pretty much worked for. I bought their new ladybug kit, which, um, I actually hadn't bought. And I bought this paper doll slimline 
card kit. I have a ton of these, and I've really been liking them. So I got those. Um, I think it was Make and Take Night, maybe. They had a special buy five glitter papers, get one free, and I use a lot of their glitter paper, so I did that. Even though I'm actually still pretty stocked up from last year, I went ahead and did it anyway because I know I'm going to use it at some point. I might as well save some money. I got one sticker bundle. It has like um, trees and stuff. Trees, cactus, succulents. I bought it for these trees. Like I can't wait till they eventually put these on their website. I just like those trees. They'd be good for outdoor cards, whatever. But I literally got this bundle for that. They're $13.99 in the booth, but on make and take night, they offered them for $10 each. And then I got this starter card kit. I don't need a starter card kit. I've been doing this stuff for years, but... Um, I got it because it was cute and it comes with um, four different color Olo markers. And I think only one of them I already have. So the other ones are all new to add to my collection. So that's one thing that made this kit value good for me because it was $39.99. I didn't even see the price when I picked it up and I asked them what the price was and they were pointed like it was right there. And I was like, I'm so blind I didn't see it. But um, I got it because it came with some markers, which makes the value good. And they're just cute cards. I'm going to make them. I like kits in general. I'm a kit person. So, Okay, guys. I think that that is it on the haul. Again, stay tuned for my class video. So if you're interested in taking classes, you can kind of see an up-close view of what the class stuff looks like and all the products that you get in each class. Because that is something I look at when I'm booking classes is what products come with it when you're trying to weigh the value of the class. So... That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.